computer and uh, I realized I needed something on my desk. So I backed up my computer and in, I mean, my wheelchair and in the process of doing so, the right wheel on my wheelchair was up off the ground. And so when I started to go forward, the wheelchair was over, you know, the weight was all on the left side and it tipped over and I fell out of the chair in the office. But I was, the neck and the spine, I thought I knew every kind of pain there was. You know, that real high level achy pain was. No. This was, the neck and the spine was really out of control. But I laid there in that kind of pain for just eight hours, just screaming because of the pain and calling out to God. And I honestly thought at one point, this is where God was going to take me. Just like that, on the floor, in pain. You know, Lord, take me sooner than later. But little did I know what God intended to do in the next few minutes. It was just like God had entered my body. Now I was laying on my side and my left foot was trapped underneath me and this hand, I was laying on this arm, but this hand was right here by my face and I could see it. Well, when God literally entered my body, I couldn't see the left foot, but I could feel it straightening up. I could feel that foot actually just getting straight. And then God went to the hand, and oh my goodness, this hand hadn't been opened in all those years. No use to me whatsoever. And God started straightening out my fingers. He, oh, and then my hand was straight. But right at the palm of my hand, it was like raw flesh. Because that hand hadn't been opened or used in all those years. And literally, girls, I could watch the new flesh forming over my hand just that quick. And I am literally sobbing with uncontrollable tears, but I saw the new flesh forming over my hand. And then God was working on my neck and my spine. And I was able to flip over on my back from my side. And for the first time, I realized my back and my spine was totally straight because my back was flat on the floor. Amazing. So he not only took care of my crooked foot, God then took care of my hand, my fingers out, my hand back, and then the flesh literally forming over the raw skin. Now my spine is straight. My neck, I'm laying straight out on the floor. But after that, the most awesome well, only God can do this. <clears throat> but God literally knelt down on one knee right beside me. He extended his hand out and asked for mine. It took me a few minutes, but I put my hand in his hand. And God took my other hand, and he literally stood me up. And I realized I was standing on two legs. 
that hadn't carried me for many years, but I was standing there under my own power. Unbelievable. A lot of people ask me, Emma, did you see God's face? I said, no. In the Bible, it says, None of us will ever see God's face in our lifetime until in heaven. But what I saw, and this is the second time that I've seen God this way, um, but God that night, what I saw kneeling down beside me was this awesome white robe. It was so bright, girls. You, Our human eyes can hardly look at it. It's so bright. And then God extending his hand out to me and asking for my hand. So I literally had my hand in God's hand. And you know, for years, you know, all these 19 years, I told many, many people that in the beginning, I asked God to be my partner through all of this. He's been my partner through all this pain. He's been my partner with all the drugs. He's been my partner with every aspect of this illness for the last 19 years. But girls, he was literally by my side that night holding my hand. unbelievable and anyway when I was standing up realizing I was standing under my own power I started coming out into the hallway and I was like a drunken sailor you know what I mean bumping the walls bumping the furniture you know this body hadn't <laughs> been in motion for a long time but it was the most awesome feeling no kidding and I realized what God had done in a few minutes when Mayo Clinic couldn't touch it for 19 years. God took care of it right then and there, going from the foot to the hand to the neck, the spine, and literally lifting me off the floor. And for the next few hours, see, the boys were coming that night for the tradition Christmas uh, supper and program and what have you. And this was a few hours before that. But girls, I went into my bedroom. I haven't slept in a bed for all these years. All I could do is sit in my wheelchair at the side of the bed or the end of the bed and just cry, wishing I could get in my bed. But that night, I walked into my bedroom after God had given me that miracle. And I literally sat on the bed and lifted my feet and straightened up in the bed. Wow. And I put a pillow underneath my head for the first time and had that comfort mm -hmm. after all these years. And then one kitty got on this side of me the other kitty got on this side of me, and they both fell asleep, and I was soaking that up like great. <laughs> but then I was going through the house. <clears throat> but girls, you got to understand, it was a whole new house to me. Mm -hmm. Because I was seeing everything 